We already know that the diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other at right angles and therefore divide the rhombus into four congruent right triangles. Area of rhombus ABCD given on screen is equal to 4 into area of right triangle AOB is equal to 4 into 1 by 2 into AO into OB is equal to 4 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 AC into 1 by 2 BD is equal to 1 by 2 AC into BD. Hence, area of a rhombus is equal to 1 by 2 into product of the diagonals. We can also find the side of a rhombus when its diagonals are given. So, if D1 and D2 are the diagonals of a rhombus, then each side is equal to under root D1 square by 4 plus D2 square by 4 is equal to 1 by 2 under root D1 square plus D2 square. Let us understand this by means of an example. The diagonals of a rhombus are 8 cm and 6 cm. Find its area. Also, find the length of the side. Here D1 is equal to 8 cm. D2 is equal to 6 cm. So, area is equal to 1 by 2 into D1 into D2 is equal to 1 by 2 into 8 into 6 or 24 square centimeter equal to length of the side is equal to 1 by 2 under root d1 square plus d2 square is equal to 1 by 2 under root 8 square plus 6 square centimeter is equal to 1 by 2 under root 64 plus 36 or 1 by 2 under root 100 centimeter is equal to 1 by 2 into 10 or 5 centimeter. Let us take another example. The area of a rhombus is 96 square meter. If one of its diagonals is 16 meter, find its perimeter. Let us denote the other diagonal by d centimeter. Then, 1 by 2 into 16 into d is equal to 96. Therefore, 8d is equal to 96 or d is equal to 96 by 8 or 12 cm. Therefore, the length of the other diagonal is 12 cm. Now to find the perimeter, we first find the length of a side of a rhombus. Therefore, side is equal to 1 by 2 under root d1 square plus d2 square is equal to 1 by 2 under root 16 square plus 12 square centimeter is equal to 1 by 2 under root 256 plus 144 centimeter that is 1 by 2 under root 400 or 1 by 2 into 20 centimeter is equal to 10 centimeter. Hence, perimeter of the rhombus is 4 into 10 or 40 centimeter.